हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ ए कनेक्शन फाइल वर्क्स फ्रेंड्स लुक एट दिस पेज आई हैव अ पेज वेयर यू कुड सी द टॉप कोड टू बिलो हाउ फर्स्ट लाइन इज रिटन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग ऑफ द कनेक्शन पेज फ्रेंड्स this is using system okay this it means you are using a machine this computer is your system so this option will render you to go through the system so it will read the whole system according to required for the things based on computer system this will recognize all the files in the data now using system dot collection for generic friends generic you know this the method of the coding is generic generic is very used essential in all in java as well as in c sharp it is used to make a file to the natural process that hold the data in a natural process using system dot link we are defining later okay next text this means system text whatsoever there is our computer system we will check all the text whatsoever there is written as well as we are using this page when we are in the program we have to write some matter which is which has different type of characters these all that the characters whatsoever privilege for this language in c sharp it is used for that this is completely in board with the system next one is using system dot padding or sub it means it will also connect the system with threading dot task whatsoever the task will be run or will be running on this project or this application all will be threaded or will be connected with the system so it means our maximum task are totally in bond with the operating system of the computer in using system dot data the data will be running within the system mean it will go through the language of the computer system and will be translated or processed with the system next one using system dot data it means it will check that it will make the all data with system data mean all will be recognized as a part of system wherever the system is written it means this computer and os of this computer will read according to this process next one is using system dot data dot sql client it means friends must know these two lines we have added these lines were not already in this space we have later added when you open any page you will not see these two lines you have to add from the side and these lines are very common that they are used to recognize the data suppose if i move this line you will see that data set has been become as an add this thing and matches with the type or the name space name it is set current pump means the system doesn't know what is data set okay so for that we need a reference assembly reference okay so these are you could see under the back and then are you missing using directive or an assembly reference okay there is a need of assembly reference assembly means which is assembled in the system in the computer system that should be used so as i 
undo this line so this is again red and no error given it's showing the class system dot data dot table represents one table of in memory data okay under our computer at a time a data set will read a table so this is all about created here next one is using data using system dot data dot sql file friends it means this client will recognize the sql connections whatsoever the sql data are taken here all are client data okay because the whole sql is not the part of visual studio so it is a different language so that is used in visual studio so the strings of that will be read by the client client means the medium that interface both the language so here is sql client is used to interface the sql data in visual studio so this sql connection this is taken from sql client sql client will put this sql connection string in visual studio and visual studio will be and understand that the client data is recognized from sql so this is the method that reads the data and it's written here now the class is in the data as the client and sql connection represents one connection to sql server database this class cannot be inherited okay do you know what is inherited means this is not in boundable in visual studio it cannot be read as a part of visual studio because this is taken from sql so you have to add these lines according to your database If your database is is taken from the SQL, so you have to provide SQL client. Or further, there are several connection may be possible that you can use. So you have to use their client name or client server name. Okay. So friends, this is the method which will read the server or all those softwares which are used to read DBMS or other softwares which are helpful for that. So their client server must be present in the studio, so the database connection could be possible. Friends, this client will read the data and will recognize according to software and will say to the studio that this is perfect. So friends, this is the method. Next, namespace server DNS. This is the namespace connection. that checks the particular object our object is connection page so this page is being namespace with friends what is namespace namespace this is the integrated page name suppose i have this connection page so it says under the whole project then project as we enter to den project so there is the code connection so it will integrate uh, it will be it will be the integrated to good connection page so friends under this connection page what so ever happening that is under this curly bracket so this curly bracket will end up at the end of this complete project and you see here this is Updates. So the whole system will be concerned and later than the namespace file or the object will be recognized and then that all the types of classes will be read. The classes under it under the condition and the condition can contain the collection of the string. The friends can you have the class that started? This class connection is being ended at last of the day. Means 
whatsoever under the connection class connection we have been written that all these public classes are the part of or we can say the subdivision of this class connection because like this one class is called dataset class so this class is up to these four lines the five lines so this is under the class of connection so when the SQL client will recognize this connection so within that it will recognize these classes okay friends so now I define you SQL connection friends here is an SQL connection that is the part of your data part of SQL data or SQL server and con is a variable for SQL connection it means whatever the properties SQL connection will hold the same property will hold it by phone in this space we cannot put the whole data according to this because this is the method that is put up to get the data from SQL but now connection dot this COWN will control all the data within it friends now after making variable we are defining this what will so under this SQL connection is only taking all the property of SQL that is provided as a server but the connection will define the particular string that requires for updating and using a table friends here we have new connection connection and the string is put inside this thread these two uh, quads friends see this first quad the last quad this is four in string of the connection and the family first of all you see there is two parentheses that are used to start or end the particular object or string or object or data or the string whatsoever there is okay so that is used at the point the link that will force the connection string to be recognized to the phone or SQL connection okay here phone is name of SQL connection so we say so SQL connection will be forced to check out a string or we can say this string will be recognized by the SQL connection this total about the add rate will make an post so within that here we have data so this is the language used in Visual Studio. Visual Studio recognize data source means that the source from which the data is. And here it is, the resource taken is equal to local db. The local db is the database server name and slash the version of the server is v11.0 and terminated then attach db file name so under this version in the server what is the data so the file address this attach file name is equal to the address of the string database this is the address of the string database and now this has been integrated security okay so integrated security is it means all the securities are, are accepted by OS. And that is connect timeout. So how long it will be running for the connection? It will take 30 seconds. And 30 seconds will be passed for the connect if the system has not properly opened, so it will be timeout message. Or if it is in process then under 30 seconds this
which will give the answer or response. Friends, now I hope you understand what is SQL connection. Now, friends, we go next step that is required is dataset DS is equal to a new dataset. Friends, I I will try to tell you, and I hope you will understand my words because this is very very important in Visual Studio because friends data set and data table there are two types of, of strings are recognized by Visual Studio actually Visual Studio doesn't hold any data table because it is only program programmable language friends here data set will tell the system SQL client to give the format of a table and data set will read all columns and the rows according to imaginary table data set is an imaginary format of the table and the same thing will happens with data table data set and data table both are imaginary table formats the thing is under data set you read all the data and put up them accordingly but under the table you read all the data you also check out each column separately every column can be defined and discussed separately this is the difference between the set or table data table is used but friends sql data reader will read all the data one by one All data one by one. As well, a reader is so easy to understand. Friends, now I hope you understand what is SQL connection and what are data set, data table, and as well data reader. This is very easy to understand. It is very familiar language. People easily can understand what code, what tells. Little bit discussion is important to get the confidence. Friends, now these all remaining data is not important for based on connection file. You don't need to use these all data for the connection file. But the friends, why we are using this? I'll tell you why we use these all things. Friends, here these are called class and the public class that starts from this curly bracket to this curly bracket so under this class what's happening that all is defined with the name of this data when here is written select select now is the name of this class wherever you need to use select type data you can use it what happens that this all data you have to write many times. Whenever you type any command for selection, you have to go through all these steps. You have to use SQL data reader adapter, D equal to new data adapter. So suppose that in a particular page like login page, I need four or five times to select the data. So every four and five times you have to write these data with the particular command that you are writing for selecting the data so friends we have created these classes not to use that time but just to pick up link to this data okay so only connection file is linked with the name of connection so we can use these all classes like select class and we can even read these data okay so we don't need to type again and again these data in every moment. So friends, this will help us there. Now, these are, here is D 
DS we have only defined in the connection file. Only new DS because of I have defined you that this is the imaginary data set of the table that will use it as an object, but it will use only one object at a time. So you have to write again new data set. In every step you have to new data table or new data set. It means that will use a single data format or single table at a time. Friends, dot ds dot clear. It means if there is some data set already made or using, it will also clear that. Now, as well data adapter, friends, this string already makes a sense because it says that class or sin or data client adapter represents a set of the data commands and database connection that is used to fill the system or data dot data set and update the SQL data server. This cannot be inherited. Okay? These all things are taken from the server. That's why they cannot be inherited part of the studio. Because inherited are already part of your studio. But here the connection is not a part of your studio. Friends here it is all about. Now see, SQL data adapter means it will make adapt. Adapt means you know. It means to make something easy. Okay. So data adapter will make easy to TA as the variable of the name of this and is equal to new SQL data adapter under S the query comma home. It means the data that is going to be adapted will be the collection or the com combination of query as well as connection. So what the query there is? Actually the query there is we are using is, is the query that we are using is under the class. Okay? Here it is you have public class that is select. So the string query under this string query what shall we wrote here will be concerning within the connection of this SQL. Okay? SQL so server will put up the connection string as well as this query whenever this select will be accepted or chosen. So friends after doing this all means checking this query to suppose it is had written here and even reading this connection file it will go to this line and will check that da dot fill it means data adapter will fill ds data set so data set is the correct a combination or we can say is the complete whole table that will be put up into the filling data it means it will get the whole table from database and fill into our ds ds is imaginary table made by visual studio so friends now here written ds it means it will be returned from it will be written to that particular string where we will call this select okay so this is the string which is written ds means whatsoever we are using for making our particular file somewhere or we are using this command as a part of our SQL coding so it will return to that particular page friends now next is the same this is the public item and the same thing here to define I hope the maximum things are the same so you will understand but only different thing is the data table friends I have already defined you that dot d the data set and data table. The difference is data set is the and imaginary table as whole object. Visual Studio understands that the data set will call any server like we are calling to a SQL server that brings uh, an object as a table. It will only get a table and row now. But the data table will recognize even each column and string separately. It is a deep study 
and it will call all the things properly. Even the definition you could see here. It is written as initialize a new instance of the system dot data dot data set class. It means it will get all data class of data as whole. But data table is written represents one table of in the memory. Okay. So here is not discuss or told about the table because it is as a set. It means it is a collection of data. Okay. It is a collection of data together. But head table means it will functionalize as each column, each row separately. So this is the format. Otherwise, all things are same. Friends, next one is insertion. Under the insertion, you must know that there is so here is public void insert string query. Friends, here is very very important. What do you know about insert? The class public void insert means this class name is insert. Okay? This class name is insert. So insert class how it works? See here. It will use a command from SQL. Okay? So SQL command from the SQL client will be taken in Visual Studio and it will tell that to SQL client. It is written already here. Represents the transact SQL statement or store for either execute against the SQL server database. This class cannot be named. Okay. Friends, look out here. You must understand that what is SQL command. This command will transact. Transact means the data will come or go. Maybe something, whatever. So here is only going. Means the data will go to the database of SQL server where it will store the data. Okay. So for that, the command, CMD command is used as CMD. Means this is sort of command that is a variable which is CMD or SQL. Okay. Now is equal to new SQL command query call. So friends, again I think this query name what we have put in the as a string in insert class. A public class insert name that has a string query. Okay, and the query that we are using here is all query will be read within the connection, and the connection will read. These data will be set where try catch command use. Try catch method is error handling method in C sharp as well as in, in Java. Java and C sharp are very very uh, similar languages, so they are using this one try catch method. So try will then the connection open and open and open. So it has repetition of again and again you check out till the time over is not open. Okay. Suppose okay. next class is delete. How you could delete the data? So the same thing try cat function is try cat method is used as this function is specially used for uh, I have defined previously that try catch method is always used for error handling. If there is something error coming, so you try to recheck and again process this data. So SQL command again use under the process, whatsoever there is, it will only use for that. But the whole thing is whatever the these data are put up, that will read the query that we have to write in Google Studio for SQL. But it will only repeat the process till the data or till the process, the process is not completed. Friends, next is void read row and row. It means this public class name is read and the query is SQL command, new SQL query command connection. You also try, but it has some skill. What it is used? DR. What is DR? Friends, DR is already used at all. And we are means that data, SQL data reader. Okay, so it is already defined, and you know that this is the function public function 
which we have public class, which we have taken as the pool one. Okay? So, so all these classes are under that class. Okay? Connection class is outer and all other classes are inner. So inner class that this one is reader. Okay? So this is will tell the SQL to read the data from SQL server where it is written has opened the connection and same will execute reader it means it will execute to the reader not known query it, it will execute to the reader okay and if dr if data reader is there and has rows and there are rows so while data data reader is reading it will be continued in this form okay so try cat method is due so till the time of not out it will repeat and repeat friends next is public class this public class having query as SQL data command as well as query where is the known query again under this process whatever the string or the command string given according to that it will process it in the, in the SQL client or SQL server friends this will update the data and try catch again repeat it friends according to that so this whole correction file has been defined very well if there is some doubt please comment down comment below i'll try to define much better friends thank you please watch the video as well as subscribe the video thank you